we are all set up to spray here are three different shades of gray. The light gray, the medium gray, and the extra dark gray. And I'm trying something a little bit different. You'll notice that I've got the uh, masking tape here as well and uh, some of you might think well I'm going to be getting spray on that. Well what I did was I covered it up with waxed paper and when I'm ready to uh, flip these over and do the other side I just peel off the the uh, waxed paper and uh, you know should save a little bit of time it, it, I don't know if this is a good idea or not I've never done it before and I've done it for all, all three of them now uh, this is our photo etch and there's a place up here that I can peel this off and anyway yeah let's uh, see what we can do here today there is a change in plans here I'm going to take these off and try not to bend them and uh, the idea is that I'm going to put them in my ultrasonic cleaner to remove any uh, grease or anything like that that may be on them for some reason these don't seem to be lifting off as well as I thought they should um, Maybe I stuck them on too hard. Anyway, I had been planning on using the number uh, 77 dark gray. And I have changed my mind. After reading my comments uh, from this morning, from yesterday's episode, I think at least three people indicated that these cables should be, uh, should be black. And looking at the pictures in uh, uh, the drawings in Stefan's book here, well, yeah, they are black, and they they would be in reality because what you have to do is remember these things were metal. They probably had them really gooped up good with you know a thick oil or something to keep them from from rusting from you know from the sea air. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to paint them black. And instead of using the 77, I'm going to use this uh, black primer. And just the primer. That's all that's needed. It's going to be black, and it's going to be flat. And why build it up with more paint? Yeah, you know, the black primer will turn it black, and, and it'll still retain its, its nice, really thin um, appearance. Anyway, that's the plan for now. Plans keep changing, as you know. Okay, that's too loose. Four more to go. The last time that I added this stuff to the water, I got a comment and somebody asked me, what is that green stuff that you put in the water? That's just ordinary dish detergent. Now these are probably going to fall through to the bottom. Well, we'll give them a try, a try here. Now, the noise that this makes is going to throw the microphone uh, and recording system in the camera here for a loop. So, uh, yeah, I'm still, I've got it set for three minutes. Looks like my lens fogged up from the heat from the water there. Okay, let's do my best here now. 
not to touch these with my fingers. Because the whole idea of using the ultrasonic was to get the grease off of them. Well, it looks like one of the little ones did find its way through to the bottom. You know what? I can't see it. Don't tell me it completely dissolved. It's got to be there somewhere. Well, we'll find it. I did that one more time using just plain water. Get any soap residue off. Now, I suppose I've got hard water residue on there, but, I mean, there's only so far I'm going to go on this. Uh, the idea now is that that primer should stick to this bare metal really, really well, providing I don't forget and touch it with my fingers. Okay, now this time, I'm just going to fasten them on the ends. I'm not going to go all the way along like I did last time. Okay, they should be a lot easier to get off. Now you're going to be seeing the spraying here pretty much in real time. I'm not cutting anything out except for the color change. That takes probably, oh, three, four minutes. You know, back flushing the, uh, with, with isopropyl and so on. Uh, yeah, you don't need to see that, but uh, actually you don't need to see this, all this spraying either. But uh, um, yeah, if, you know, if you fast forward through it, my feelings won't be hurt. Now I'm about to do something that proves that I'm not really thinking too much about what I'm doing and I'm very deep in thought about something else. Anyway, 
when I did it, I thought, well, I can always cut that out later and, and when I'm editing. But, you know, now that I'm actually seeing it, it's kind of funny, so I'm going to leave it in. Anyway, here it is. Watch this.
I was really disappointed at how these were peeling off here. It was quickly becoming apparent I had put on way too much primer. What you did not see me do there before I started peeling them off the other side was I used the hair dryer to sort of speed things up a little bit and I'm guessing that probably half an hour had had lapsed by and in the meantime the primer was sitting in the cup in the uh, air in the airbrush and I think possibly the nozzle was starting to plug up because I was having a lot of trouble with the uh, second coat there or the second side. Um, yeah, it just did not go well. Now I know it looks like because I had more primer that the cup had emptied out, but there was still a little bit down in the bottom there. I don't think I was sucking air yet. I do believe that I put the first coat on a little bit too thick. I can see here on the edge of it where it's sort of, uh, I don't know, I guess where it was pooling you might say along the uh, along the side. Uh, and the second coat I may not have put on thick enough. They do look black. Well, they're going to have to do. The only other thing I could possibly do now at this point would be to, you know, soak them in solvent, get all the primer off, and, and redo them a different way. Like right here, I'll put the macro lens on and show you. It's maybe I could rub that frayed edge off. I don't know. I'll put the macro lens on and show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, you can see here where it's not what you call good. I don't know if that's 
from the uh, primer. Yeah. Oh, and it, and it's rubbing off too. Mind you, maybe I didn't let it dry long enough. You know what? I'm going to soak these in solvent, and I'm going to try something else. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to try something else. This is Windex. It's been uh, soaking in the Windex here for at least 15 minutes, maybe more. And uh, the Windex isn't cutting it. Now I took the other small one and I put it in some isopropyl. And I know it looks like it's dissolving off maybe, but that's because I was sort of scraping it with my fingernail. The, the isopropyl is not dissolving it either. So this, this stuff here, it must be different from the uh, the uh, uh, Tamiya acrylic paints we've been using because you know this this should have you know come off by now you know I can rub it off but it's not really uh, dissolving off now I had another thought while I was uh, fooling around here with this stuff how about that easy line that Tony sent us you know, would it, uh, you know, it's, it's about the right diameter. In fact, it's perfect diameter. I wonder if these uh, cranes can be, well, then there's the, uh, the hook, the hook that goes in the smaller one. That might be a little harder. But on the other hand, maybe, uh, you know, maybe I could get the uh, primer scraped off of the smaller oval ones here and, uh, and use them. I only need two of them. Um, I don't know, it's just a thought. I'm just sort of thinking out loud here again, and uh, I think that's all for today, folks. So we'll uh, see you tomorrow, all being well, and thanks for watching. <laughs>